Hello everyone, I will be presenting the paper with the title Housing Preference Transformation in Slayer Island Regency. The paper made with my partner, John Andarayi Ayunintias, was presented in 5th East Tech Valley on 14th and 15th November 2018. Slayer traditional houses in the form of steel houses are still widely found in Slayer. The form of Slayer Island traditional house is used as a direction for the design of the Tanantuan Museum, which store item that show the history and culture of the Slayer Island. One of the villages that uses the form of traditional Slayer houses is Kabung Tua Pitumbang. Most building in Bitombang are estimated to be more than 5,000 oh, 500 years old. Until now, the original tradition and form of the houses in Bitombang is still maintained and used as one of the attractions in the Slayer Island Regency. However, the use of traditional houses on Slayer Island has begun to shift along with the development of building technology, improving the economic condition of the community, as well as changes in people's lifestyle toward more modern ones. The study was conducted to explore the form of the Slayer Island traditional house and identify the shift in preference for traditional house used to modern homes. Slayer Island Agency is an area of South Sulawesi province as an archipelago located on the southern tip of Sulawesi Island. It has a total of one 130 islands with an area of 10.503 km square covering a land area of 1357 km square and an area of seawater 9000 and uh, 100 kilometer square. The population in 2018 was 131.605 residents. In this layer island, traders stop by to fill supplies until they wait for a good season to sell again. From this cruise activity, the name Slayer appears. Slayer comes from the word Chandaya in Sanskrit language, which means one screen. Okay, you can see the Slayer traditional houses in the form of the houses are still widely found in Slayer. This is the uh, metric, the table metric, where we can see that uh, rumah panggung or still house is, uh, is in large amount on Slayer Island is 4,700. 767 and some residents have changed their uh, settlement with permanent and permanent with brick stone and not and landed house not still house that is uh, we can found in Slayer Island Slayer Island traditional houses is in the form of steel house. Steel construction is intended to keep the distance 
uh, height of the floor and the surface of the ground through the pillars or building support. The form of the slide island residual house is used as a directive for the building design of the Tanah Tuang Museum in Slayer Island Regency. The museum houses various kinds of historical objects such as traditional clothing, spear trees, ceramic, ancient currencies, up to the replica of traditional Slayer vessels. Traditional clothing, trees and spears and other handicraft by king and traditional leaders during the celebration of religious days, marriages, wars, and other traditional rituals. Ceramic and metal pieces that are believed to have originated in China, as well as proof that the area used to be traffic and a stopover for wood sea trade. Well, the replica of a traditional ship called Lambu in ancient time was used as a means of sea transportation to various regions in Indonesia. The concept at the steel house is divided into underhouses which function as livestock storage. The, the house is used as a family activity and the upper part of the house is used as a family barn. The house is divided into three parts, first terrace and living room, the second family room and third part is kitchen. The roof of the house is made of bamboo or known as timber roof, split bamboo. In one house usually use 20,000 until 30,000 pieces of copper roof. In addition, there are also those who use dead leaves. The roof section consists of hubungan, timbala raja, and tapi. Based on an explanation on the sand in the tourist area of Kampung Tua Pitombang, Pitombang was originally founded by the ancestor of local resident who fled in the 17th century for refusing the entry of Islamic religion which firmly embraced the belief of mixing Hindu and animism. This village is located on the slopes and hillside. The house in Bitombang village was built with a tall pole, you can see in the uh, figure or picture, as a form of adaptation to the land counter. And according to local resident, it was done to avoiding many thieves in the past. The house in the Pitombang is located on a hillside with towering poles and the back and low on the front. Their pillar range from 10 to 20 meters and the front is only 2 to 3 meters. People built a house starting from the selection of the Pasiringan Palace, which means shelter, to establish land. From this word, the word sharing appears under houses when a house has been built. For this reason, to build a house, a matakuri, or in Indonesia, we call mahaguru, is needed. Matakuri is a person who is an expert in building houses and is, and is trusted by a local resident to have a spiritual power that will fill the house that he, he built. This makes the tradition, tradition of building houses in this village must be followed by ritual to ask blessing for families in the house, including blessing of longevity. It is also said to be one of the reasons many villagers are hundreds of years old. Based on the interview with one of the residents who made a living as a carpenter, in building a house in Pitombang village, there was still a culture of gotong royong or mutual cooperation. The development process began with appointing one of the residents as a coordinator in the construction process assisted by all citizens, both men, women, and children. With this mutual cooperation system, building a house frame only takes 
three until five days only. However, the process of building houses in Bitombang before and now has changed. The construction of houses at the at this moment is mostly using uh, experienced carpenter. The material used as a pillar of the house is PT or hulasa wood, with a durability of of up to hundred of years. Hulasa wood that will last a long time is hulasa wood that is uh, approximately. 20 until 30 years old. While roofing material varies using rumbia leaves, woven bamboo, and current development have used asbestos and zinc. Sing alone. The development of material use was also seen on the walls in several houses in Pitombang, which initially used wooden board to use sing alone. This is the Room function. The room function consists of a family room which also functions as a living room. A room with an average number of two until three rooms and a kitchen. Under the house as a warehouse and garage as shown at picture. Based on traditional house form that still exists today. It can be shown that the beginning of the space pattern of the Slayer Island Traditional house is an open house with no bevel, ex except for servicing purpose, for example, kitchen and laundry and storage and food stuff. While for bathing purpose, washing latrine is on the lower floor, which is a development condition from what was originally done traditionally. By opening a hole in the field or in a river or sea, the house model used by the resident of Slayer Island include a simple form because it only divides the space into three, that is public, semi-public, and private areas. Based on the result of the interview, it was found that initially there were no divide inside the house to divide into bedroom space, so that only large spaces and bed were used as a kitchen another surface needed the shape of the structure used at the beginning is a wooden structure with a bolt free connection the use of wood metal is based on consideration of the availability of local material that exists in the area in the past uh, here is the example of the form of Slayer traditional houses, you can see many variation. In Patikaya village, the coastal village in Slayer Island and located 20 minutes from Benteng. The uh, main city in Slayer Island, currently still dominated by wooden steel house reaching up to 70% of houses. However, However, there was a change in the community preference from the use of steel houses. According to Mr. Hikmatul's statement, the Patikaria village apart, which state that the people's preference for residential house use of the steel house had changed into a rumah batu, or stone, or brick house that mean permanent house, as quoted. Initially, the wood does not to build a wooden steel house, the initial construction costs are only for the cost of cutting the wood, but wooden steel house has maintenance costs every year. In the Patik area village, the state has stone whose house is used just by employees, civil work, entrepreneurs, or traders. So it depends on the economic condition. Based on the fact there was a shift in usage preference along with the modernization of the building structure. Changes in the function of space and shift in preference for residents from the steel house to landed house that are permanent home are motivated by the high cost of maintaining a house on steel, which must be replaced by one part each year. 
Shifting preference from for habitation is a form of adaptation, adoption, or negotiation between something old and new. Improving the economic condition of the community is one of the things that support changes in the residential, residential preference of Slayer Island uh, Regency resident. Initially, the state us was the main choice because wood material were easy and cheaper to get. But along with limited wood material, which causes with high prices for timber, the cost of building and maintaining a house and still is no longer cheap. This is current form of motivation of shape and material use. Uh, however, along with the development of lifestyle and the need for space, there are modifications to, to the original shape of the Slayer Steel House. Modification uh, to the shape of the Steel House can be seen from the building in the Bentang urban area and its surrounding. The Steel House was built into a two-story building with semi-permanent houses. The bottom of the house was built with concrete wall and the second floor still retained wood material. The following is a compilation of changes in shape and material use of steel house in Slayer Regency. For the conclusion part, the traditional steel house is a form of vernacular architecture whose existence was for some time undergone a change in process and product need. Steel houses are no longer the main choice in the present because of the high cost of maintenance wood material. Uh, houses built in the present has been dominated by a leaded house and made from brick wall. The sustainability of vernacular architecture on steel house is currently not very visible. The policy brief that can be taken are that are by creating a cultural heritage area as well as Kampung Dua Bitumbang to take the value and meaning of each stage of the growth of the existing local architecture culture.